How are you? Cody here at DNT Nutrition. I'm just going to go through a bit of what we do on the shoulder workout. Uh, I've got some footage of what we did today, uh, but I'll just go through it all. So the first exercise we're going to do, I always start off with is military press. Start off nice and slow, warm it up, um, get the shoulders active. Basically how I work it is I want to do five sets. Um, first two sets, I'm running about 15 reps, then I start increasing the weight. So third set, 70%, fourth set, 80%, fifth set, 90%, and if you've still got a little bit in there, you always go one more. The big thing which you'll notice um, in the videos, I'll put a little bit of the instruction on there, um, what you need to focus on, how you need to do it, um, but yeah, just watch on. So a major thing you notice when I'm doing my shoulder press is I'm always actually keeping my elbows quite in front. So if I go sideways, keep them here, bring it right down to my chest and I press it all the way back through. A lot of people tend to put their shoulders, uh, elbows behind their shoulders like this. I find what this does is you bring your chest too far up and you've got an arch in your back. So as long as those elbows are slightly in front and you're going up, you're directly working that front deltoid. That's where you want to be targeting. Um, obviously you want to come, as you come slowly down, you want to power back up. The next thing we go into, we're going to go into some ladder raises. What I find is after working the front delt, you kind of work your mid delt as well. Go into the ladder raises, kind of pre-fatigue them. Again, always do five sets. Always go 15 reps minimum when I'm doing ladder raises. The reason I do this is because I don't like to overload the weight on my delts. I've both delts I've actually had bursitis in and I found both times was due to lifting too heavy in correct form. So you'll see a little bit of information on there about how I do them. Keep my elbows forwards, um, obviously not raising above. Just bring it nice and side on, basically just like that. Quick and easy. But yeah, you'll see this in the video anyway. So that's all we were actually filmed with our shoulder workout. So I'll basically explain what we do from then on. Um, once we've done the military press, we do five sets. We've done the lateral um, raise, we do five sets. We then go into our rear delts. Um, massive thing, I've noticed greatly, people always focus on you know, what's forward on the body, what's behind us. Everybody knows, everybody likes a good back. Everybody likes good shoulders, good round shoulders. Um, so with rear delts, I actually do two different exercises. The first one I use is a pin loader machine. Um, it's just the one where you simply go like this and wide. Now I always tend to find I only go that far um, to the side. So just again, hands slightly in front of the shoulders. What I do is I find that the target's through the rear delt the best. Uh, the second exercise I do for them is on the cable machine. So I actually use the um, close stance cable machine. You can do it on a wide one, perfectly fine, but um, literally you just do all you do is grab it and you actually raise slight angle upwards. What that does, I don't know if you can see there, but it goes from here and it just targets that full rear delt. Um, you gotta keep it really light, like I'm maxing out probably like 6.45 kilos um, on the cable machine, that's how our one works. Uh, once I've done them, I always do, again, five sets um, on both of them. Um, you're probably thinking, why do I simple? I use five sets um, as the method because I like to use my two sets to start with it's kind of like a warm-up get the blood in there really focus and target on what I'm actually training uh, so if I'm doing rear delts I always find that after I've done some front raises or ladder raises doing any exercise on the front of the muscle um, your first set you're not really going to be targeting too well your second set you kind of get your focus there your third set you can hit the 70% mark the 80% mark the 90% mark um, and that's what I tend to do so after I've done my military press and then I've done my ladder raises I always then jump on and do the pin loaded Flies, and then I'll jump onto the cable machine and do the rear delt flies again. Um, always do five sets, like I said. Then, after I've done them, I always tend to jump on front raises, but I superset it with a pin loaded um, shoulder press machine. So, we've got actually a pretty nice um, life fitness pin loaded machine. Um, kind of sits pretty close to your elbows tucked in, and you raise it up like that. And what I find is just doing that just targets that front delt amazing. Straight after that, jump on and then you got your 15. Raise, uh, front raises, sorry, just straight up, nice and simple. I always tend to find that I always uh, go to hand shoulder height. Any further up than that, I always find I feel like a little tingle or a little ligament or pinch. 
in uh, the shoulder. So definitely don't recommend it. Um, you know, that's just what I believe. Once I've done them, I'll then go on to what we call upright rows. Um, two things on upright rows which I have discovered. Now, this could be controversial. Everybody says a different thing, a different opinion. A lot of people, I'm gonna stand up for this one. Um, a lot of people hold close and they come up with this. Now, the two things I notice when I do close is my bicep. And again, when I get here and come up that little bit more, I'm extending my shoulder past the point of no return, is what I call it. If I go wide, lock it down like this and bring it up, I bring it just there. And again, remember how I was saying about the lateral radius, how you want to keep that elbow just under the shoulder? You see me targeted just that perfect amount. So wide, just like that. Now, you can tend to go a little bit heavier when you're doing this, which I like to do. Um, a bit more heavier, a bit more you know, focus on the um, delts or shoulders. Recommend doing five sets, um, and they're kind of the finisher for shoulders. Everybody does either like a chest tricep, back bicep kind of system. I always do shoulders and biceps. I find once you've done the upright rows, you've already targeted the bicep, you've already got kind of a bit of a burn, a bit of a pump on. So I always just finish off. The way I finish off uh, my shoulder exercises is actually jumping on a preacher curl. So I like to use the plate loader preacher curl. Don't get me wrong, you know, bar, bar that's perfectly fine. Um, but the plate loaded seems to target really good. You can kind of concentrate it on a lot more. Um, I don't overload it. I try and go for 20 reps. So it's kind of not like a working set or a hypertrophy training. It's more endurance, I guess. Um, but what it does, it kind of just burns it out at the end. Um, Pre-fatigues it completed. Do probably yeah, five sets of that, maybe six sets if I'm feeling good. Um, that kind of wraps up my shoulder workout. I probably tend to hit that maybe two times a week. Um, kind of fluctuates from you know what I start to what I finish. But yeah, that's basically the gist of everything. So um, yeah, cheers for watching.